Welcome to Tabletop Gaming with Juice. Here I am with uh, another video. Now, I haven't done a lot of videos lately, and I don't think I'm going to have time to do any for a couple weeks. Uh, my son was due on Tuesday. It is now Thursday. Um, so, who knows? Uh, and today I'm actually busy with a lot of work. I'm trying to set up a bunch of showings for tomorrow. So, quite a bit is on my plate. Um, but yeah. Anyways. The D&D Player's Companion came out for Princes of the Apocalypse. And it's pretty good. Um, I put it all in a binder here. Um, I like what I came up with, so I'll just show it off. So I printed this sheet twice, so I got that in the cover. and got it inside here. And it goes into the races, which I think are pretty good. Um, the, the thing is, they're a little bit powerful compared to the core races, in my opinion. Uh, you got the Aarakocra first, which they can fly. And I, there was a huge debate in the one-shot group about, is that overpowered? And people were like, oh, no, it's not. My opinion, it is. You know, as long as they're not wearing, is it medium and heavy armor? Yeah. So if they're in light armor, they're already going to get a dex bonus, so they're going to be hard to hit regardless. Uh, if you make them something like a barbarian, and then you make them, you know, they're able to fly, you know, you're going to end up being really hard to hit. Uh, and even if you are hit, you're going to have resistance. Um... It's cool, and the fact that they get their talons, but here's the thing to think about, too. You give them a reach weapon, they never have to come within melee range for most things they're going to fight. Uh, you give them ranged weapons, like bows, and then give them a feat to stack with that. I mean, you are going to be pretty pretty hard to hit. So I think they're, they're really a, a really powerful class. Um... Then there's the Deep Gnome, which the Deep Gnome is pretty cool, too. They're called, like, the Sniffiv Sniffiblin or something. Um, and they're pretty cool, too. They get the Dex bonus, uh, you know, so they also get the Intelligence bonus, which I don't understand that really for them, but still, pretty cool. Superior Dark Vision of up to 120 feet. Um, they're, they're fine. I, I don't have a problem with them. I think they're going to be... A pretty cool little race um, that a lot of people might enjoy. Um, I don't think they're going to, you know, ruin your game. They're slightly more powerful than some races, but not really. Um, so they can hide in rocks, which is cool. Uh, then there's the Genesi, which they're the heirs to elemental power. And there's four different ones. You can, the main planes, or the main um, types are fire, water, wind, and earth. And uh, they're, they're pretty cool. Um, obviously, Temple Elemental Evil, the miniatures have all of these covered. Um, you know, and depending on what you are, you automatically get a con bonus, but then you get another bonus based on what you are. Uh, you also get resistances and things. Um, so those can be a pretty powerful race as well. I really like it. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play as some of these and to incorporate these as NPCs in some of my games. Uh, they also, I forgot to show you pictures, but um, let's go back to the Deep Gnome for that. So you got Aarakocra and the Deep Gnome. Uh, then you got the Genesi right there. And then you get into the Goliaths. Now the Goliaths uh, is one that I think a lot of people are talking about, especially if you enjoy fighter classes like I do. Uh, I think they're pretty awesome. Uh, I think a game with all Goliaths would be really cool. Um, oops, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, so I think that would be really cool. Uh, they're pretty powerful. Um, or at least they can be. The I personally think it's fine. People have been debating whether or not you could pick up or carry or whatever large creatures um, and things like that. And I think it would be fine if you're playing as this. Um, and that's for the powerful build portion of it. You count as one size larger when determining your carrying capacity and the weight you can push, drag, or lift. Well, I would probably apply that to grappling and other things as well. But that's just me. I mean, these guys are big. They're like 8 feet tall. Yeah, 7 to 8 feet tall on average. So, and they're between 280 and 340. So, they're, they're huge. They're taller than humans. Um slightly shorter than like you know giant races by like maybe a foot so maybe a foot and a half 
So they're, they're in that ballpark, so I'm okay with that. Now the spells. It looks like the spells are pretty cool. Um, they have more elemental type spells, clearly, because it's for the Princes of the Apocalypse, which is Temple of Elemental Evil. And, uh, you know, so there's a lot of good things in here. Um, you get spells for a lot of classes. Bard, Druid, Ranger, Sorcerer, Warlock, and Wizard. So no clerics, um, which is fine. Um, I think it's kind of interesting they left clerics out of this completely. Uh, but it, it's still fine. I think it'll be really cool uh, to see how some of these work. Um, I've glanced over them. I haven't read all of them. Um, but I still haven't read all the spells in the PHP. So um, I would probably allow them on a case-by-case -case basis for players in my home games. Um, but yeah, they're really... There's a lot of them, too. I mean... Let me, let me show you guys the list. It's quite a bit. So here's the list right here. And it's this column, this column, this column. And then this page. So you get quite a few spells there to add to your game. Uh, then it goes into the descriptions. And this has artwork in it for most pages. Like you could actually get this professionally bound and people would think that, hey, you went and bought this book. Um, I also, in this, decided to put the Unearthed Arcana Eberron stuff, so I can use the Changeling, uh, Warforged, Shifters, the new Wizard Tradition Artificer, uh, and Action Points and Dragon Marks for the new feat Dragon Mark, I, and which that is official, well, it's a beta test um, on Wizard's website under Unearthed Arcana Articles. And then I also, this thing I got a while back from somebody, um, it's robots. So how you could make robots for player characters. It's just two pages. Really simple. It's got three types. Um, it's got war bots, tool bots, and serve bots. So I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever use it, but in case I ever decide to, I have it in here. And then the last thing I put in here was the Unearthed Arcana when armies clash, and that's for mass combat. Now there is a lot in here for that. I think it's like nine pages. Um, I'm not comfortable using it yet, but there's some cool things in it. You know, it talks about movement on the battlefield, types of units, uh, terrain, your actions, um, you know, spell casting, all sorts of different things in here that are interesting. Um, objectives and victory points, uh, how to end a battle, things like that. So it's it's interesting, it's a lot, I think. Um, and considering my neither of my campaigns right now need that, I'm not too worried about it. I think my one campaign will end up needing it um, at the end. And that's the one that I run for my family, uh, my in-laws and stuff that one will probably need it. So get on over, download this. I, I don't think you'll regret it. There's some interesting classes in here that you may or may not choose to allow. You might want to make NPCs for them. Uh, I know that the a couple of those are in the monster manual already, so you don't really have to do anything. Just take that and slap NPC stuff to it, like a name and some story to the, the character. Um, but it's really cool. So. Uh, again, there's, I love having options. I think it's great. Um, and, and nothing bad comes from having options. The worst case scenario, you either get ideas or you just say, eh, it doesn't work for my game. So, free PDF, go download it. Go download all those PDFs. I'll try and put the, just the links in the description below. Um, might not have them up with this video right off the bat, but within, hopefully within a couple of days I will have that in there. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.